Capricorn, this is your reading. Welcome to The Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon, and follow me there. Capricorn, there is no gender in tarot. This is for entertainment purposes only. Ascendant Masters. Please give placements with Capricorn placements. Time is fluid. This could have already happened to you. It could be happening to you now. It could happen to you in the future. I could be pulling on your energy. I could be pulling on the energy of who you have on your mind. I could be pulling on the energy of someone you have an etheric tie to that is from your past. Somebody has walked away to go on to someplace more peaceful, but they're looking over their shoulder could be someone that you consider to be very immature, but they owe you an apology, and you're going to think that the apology is insincere because this person that you feel is immature or childish, you know, I don't like using those words, but I don't find childlike or boyish or that type of behavior, the word, it's immature and pages are children. So childlike behavior doesn't, does not, it does, that's not the description. I'm seeing childish, immature. This is someone that you could have thought that you were going to have a forever life with, a happy life with, a family life with. The, the, the whole Ten of Cups, but um, you are not going to, in, you're not investing with this person. You have pulled back. You are not, there is no going forward with that person. You feel that that person could have put you into competition with someone else or some ones else, others, not just maybe one. They could be coming back around to offer you something small and you think it's just mind games you think that it's mind games and you're not you're not you're not falling for that again you're not falling for that again they they brought your they brought your life crashing down and it was a, it was your your world crashed this person left you i don't see the five of pentacles but this person walked and they owe you the apology. You were having a life planned with them. It was going to be with children, and you had a happy future planned. And you are so pulled back because of what they did. You don't want. You don't want their little pinnacle. You. They, this person had nothing you want. It's. It will be if they come. If, th if this person comes back, I, I think that they got brass ones. If they come back. They put you in competition. It's going. It's going to pop off. There's going to be tears in Capricorn. I don't think they're going to be yours. You're going to be Queen of Swords reversed. This is not good energy. You're going to have words, big words. I mean, this person could have. I mean, they walked away, and with a tower in reverse, you had plans on a life, and they're. They're going to come in with a little teeny tiny, maybe I'm sorry, you know, like kind of like flippant about it. Yeah, kind of sorry I, I left you, you know, when we were planning on a life and you, you, your money. I mean, like when you had like maybe no money because this is seven of pentacles reversed. So it's not like you're even stepping back contemplating where you were going to invest. It's like you might not have had any money. You could have, I don't see it, but you could have been broke and tower reverse i mean you could have been like ready to be put out on the street with no money and here they are taking off and going with somebody else looking over their shoulder and be like hmm capricorn collective don't know what you're going to do but uh i'm going to be okay over here with my friends bye and i'm i'm taking all the stuff with me i'm taking all of our stuff yeah i know you had uh 
plans of us having a family and us being, you know, cool and everything. But, uh, yeah, sorry you don't got any money and sorry about that. But, you know, I'm going to come in and make you a little tiny offer and a little half-assed apology. But can you kind of, like, forget that? And can you forget that I play mind games with you and maybe we're seeing other people when we were together and everything came crashing down and kind of, like, made your life shit? Forget about that, okay? Yeah, you're not, for, you have forgotten nothing. You have forgotten nothing. You carry this around with you, like, in a suitcase. An imaginary suitcase. The anger and the pain of whatever happened is folded up like this. You have folded it all up and you've tied it in a big black bow and you've put it into a suitcase and locked that suitcase up and you carry it around with you. When you get up in the morning, you lift it and you carry it, you take it into the bathroom and you pee and you brush your teeth, you get in the shower, you set it down. And then you get up and you go downstairs and you carry this. This is with you 24 seven, no matter what you do, no matter who you're with, this is in your head, all of it. And should they come back with their little half-assed offer? Look, I got a little gold coin for you, Capricorn. Yeah, I'm back. Look what I got for you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of, kind of giving you a little, little apology, kind of, sorta. So yeah, don't, don't, don't pay no attention to those other people that, you know that I kind of were talking to and, you know, playing with your mind and made you cry and, you know, those kind of seeing if I could fuck with your head mm -hmm. and possibly could have left you homeless standing along, along the side of the street with no money. Kind of, kind of did that and stabbed you in the back and left you for dead so the crows could come pick at your bones. Yeah, I kind of did that because, mm, yeah, the good God Almighty, you're going to be the emperor. Can you video this and send it to me? Because somebody's going to get their come up and it's like, you're going to go all Capricorn goat on this person. And you know what? It looks like this person is going to deserve it. They might come back and say, baby, baby, I changed. I don't have porn addiction and sex addiction and cheating addiction or obsessions with my other girlfriends, my ex-girlfriends or my ex-wife or I don't have gambling addictions or, you know, I don't stalk my exes anymore or I don't gamble, I don't do drugs, I'm not an alcoholic, I don't do those things but you are so boundaried up. You'll stick a bitch with that stuff, with that stick. Uh-huh. Yeah. Video this and send it to me. We'll post it on my Facebook page. Because I want to see how accurate I am with this reading, and it's going to be like, oh my goodness, somebody's going to get what they deserve. I don't want to lose you. Oh my. Dude or dudette, you already done lost. I'm too afraid to talk. Well, they're smart. Aren't they smart? <laughs> Aren't they smart? You already lost, and at least you're smart. You should be afraid. You should be very afraid. But look, look at that Capricorn. See that Capricorn? I wouldn't piss that Capricorn off. And I'm not really afraid of anything except sharks. But still, you know, don't be stupid. So, 7 and 4, 47, April 7th, July 4th. Those numbers mean anything to you? I don't want to lose you. Ding dong. They're long gone. You don't play Capricorns like this. Capricorns are about, A, their money, okay? Capricorns are about their money. Look what you did. They're about their money, their stability, 
You don't be doing this. You did it. Mm -mm, you're not coming back. You're not getting back. And then you're going to come back with, with this. This isn't going to even buy a happy meal. Capricorn. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. And you come back the next time. Maybe something will resonate then. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on my Facebook page. I try to do different content on both. Thank you for sitting here with me.